This is what Diablo 4 crafting version 2 could have been, and this is what we got. But before I get into it, let's first go over the changes they made, ask some questions, and see where this new crafting system ends up. From the campfire stream, we learned that items, specifically rare items, now have lower number of affixes, gems are improved, meaning they have much better stats on them. There's a new concept called greater affixes, which are just regular affixes with 1.5x multiplier on them. Also, they can only drop, there's no other way of getting them. Next up, tempering. This is a new crafting system that allows adding two affixes to a gear piece. You of course cannot temper it indefinitely, as there's something called tempering durability. Or if you're someone who plays last epoch, it's gonna be known to you as forging potential. Important thing to mention with tempering is that you can temper rare and legendary items, but you cannot temper uniques. Moving on to master working. This is the new quote-unquote endgame crafting system, which allows you to boost item affixes up to a certain point. There are 12 levels that increase the affix by 5%, except on level 4, 8, and 12, which is when a single affix gets boosted by 25%. Finally, gear upgrading is no longer in the game, as it's kind of replaced by master working in some ways. With this in mind, I thought that crafting could have a couple of viable paths to it. So I ended up with these. We now know that most of these paths are irrelevant, but still, let's go through them. First, we consider that master working could affect greater affixes. In this scenario, we would consider if those greater affixes are present on rare items or not. If they are, we'd probably want to hunt down a rare item with two best greater affixes. We would want to master work it, as it would greatly increase our chances of boosting just the right stats. Then we would temper an item, adding two more affixes, and ultimately enchant one of these affixes we do not like. Now, we know that rare items do not drop with greater affixes on them, which leads us to the alternative. Rare items are useless, so we prioritize legendary items with two best greater affixes. Again, we would masterwork them right away in order to maximize the chances of boosting the right stats, then temper it and enchant it. We now know that masterworking is not possible before tempering, so this path is incorrect. Second scenario to consider would be masterworking does not affect greater affixes. Again, we would consider the state of rare items, but because we now know that rare items are useless, we can shift our attention straight to the alternative. Hunting down legendary item, tempering it, because in this scenario masterworking would not affect greater affixes, perhaps enchant one of those stats and ultimately masterwork it. But we know that masterworking does affect greater affixes, so this scenario is pointless as well. So. After considering all the limitations, where rare items are pretty much pointless, not being able to masterwork before tempering, and not being able to enchant a tempered affix, we come down to this path. You hunt down legendary items, you temper them, you maybe enchant affix that you do not like, and then you masterwork them. So, to conclude this one up, I do believe the game is going in the right direction. Crafting in the state it is now feels way better than what was in the game before, or what wasn't. However, I do think that they should push this even further. Crafting in its current form is very on rails, and kinda more on the luck side rather than being deterministic. My wishes are, allow at least one greater affix on rare items, so they are not pointless. Masterworking should be possible before tempering. This way you have a bit more deterministic approach to crafting where you can kinda target the affixes that you want. And there should maybe be a percent chance of enchanting into a greater affix. 